the success multiplier formula. This will help you quantify time frame power. What does that mean? Well, we're going to teach you all about it. Now, this goes hand in hand with our the wave trading technique, with our always winning strategy, and with our maximize success with the ADR. All four of these trainings go together. You need all four of them to totally understand what we're talking about. But let's jump into the multiplier formula. How does it work? Well, you guys who've been with us a while, you know that we use the half day, the two day, and the weekly time frames on our charts. You always see them at the top on the 195 minute chart. That's a half day, an actual market half day. Two days, we use the two day chart and we use the weekly. Now, all things being equal, the market tends to move in the direction of the largest chart. What is the largest chart? On our techniques, it is the weekly chart. Again, it is the big wave. Imagine in the ocean you have some ripples. That could be the half day. You have some small waves. It'd be the two day. And then you have the big waves. Those big waves are the weekly. And they do what? They push everything else in their direction. Now, at some point, they do calm down. And it takes a lot of little waves to make the big wave. And again, less to make the medium wave. But we keep that wave analogy in mind. Now, we assign numbers, that is weight, to each time frame. <clears throat> the half day, we assign the number one to. The two day, we assign the number four to that. Why? Because it's four half days. It's two days, right? And then what do we assign to the weekly chart? You can do the math. They're five days. That means they're ten half days. So one for the half day, four for the two day, ten for the weekly. This calculates the strength of entry points to help you make a no-go decision. It also systematizes decision trees for staying in trades. And it simplifies thinking and focuses you on success. The goal of this multiply formula is to do what? It is to utilize multiple waves, that's multiple time frames of price movement to establish a simple and effective formula to increase your profits, thereby your success, to reduce the number of poor entry trades, poor entry points, and hence poor trades, and to create a system that works in all trading situations and then encourages you to reverse the move if the market redirects. Not to simply say, well, there's nothing here, there may be a short position if everything was going long or if everything was short and goes long. you got to be able to own a dime, reverse your thinking. You can't get stuck. You can't get stuck. And this will help you to prevent that. Now, let me give you an example. I used these same charts in my wave trading technique video. This is a recent silver trade that I did in early April 2022. Now you're looking first at the half day chart, second the two day chart, third the weekly chart. Now pay attention to this. You see a number I have down here. This is the date that I recorded this number. What is this number? It happens to be the same date I jumped in and there's a reason for that. I was tracking the strength of the wave I was jumping into. You see the number 11 here. Now, what would the number 11 represent based upon those numbers I gave you? 1, 4, 10. Well, 10 plus 1, the only way you can get to 11 is 1 and a 10. Now, if you look at these charts, you'll see on the half day, it went from red to green. I'm looking for an up move, so I'll take a 1 there on the half day chart. It's gone from red to green going up. That's 1. I look at the two day, now it later changed as I was getting out of the trade after I'd successfully completed up about 4% and out in a very short period of time. But look at when I got in. It was negative on the two day. So that's zero points to add in. And then what was it like on the weekly? It was green and up. So the weekly counts as 10. 
10 on the weekly plus, oops, let's go to one on the half day, you get 11. So I put 11 there. So I knew going into this trade from when the STC went from red to green, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, you need the training on the wave trading technique because we jump into up trades when it goes from red to green and prices above the 200 EMA. So I knew getting in that I had, of course, the half day chart on my side, as well as what? The weekly chart. Two day wasn't with me. Otherwise, it would have been 15. It's 11. That's how we utilize it. It gives us just a quick way as we're entering a trade and going through a trade to know the strength of the wave we are jumping into. That is extremely important. Now, let me break that down for you. If everything is read on a chart, you would never stay in a trade that you're in, and you would not enter a trade going long, would you? You would look to enter a short trade. Under our rules, that would only be, of course, if the half-day chart was below the 200 EMA. So the rule here is never stay in a trade when everything is against you. You'd be an idiot, right? And look to enter a short trade if everything goes red. You may have a short trade, you may not, but at least you can reverse that thinking on a dime. Now, if you have one point, what does that tell you automatically? And you'll, you'll memorize this over time. It'll just click. You know that one point is a green 195 minute, but your two day and your weekly are going against you. Now, you could be calling the bottom in a move. You could be getting ready to literally hit the first up move after a stock or ETF has crashed, but that's going to be rare. It's just many times it'll just be a fluctuation and you jump in and because the two day and the weekly are going down, you get hammered. So we say rarely enter if ever. Okay. Now check out the next number four. What does that mean? Well, you get zero points. So no points, no point for the half day, no points for the weekly. So four means you've got nothing going in your direction but the two day. Now you wouldn't get in, but if you're in a trade and all of a sudden you jumped into the trade originally and all you had going for you was the half day and the two day, and, and you'll actually see that in number five. It started off as a five. The weekly was going against you and all of a sudden your half day goes to red. That means you've gone down one point. You just have a four. What do you do there? Well, stay rarely, if ever. You want to check out all your charts all the time. See what the Heikinashi candlesticks look like. See where you are on the 200 EMA on all the charts and make up your mind. This would never be an entry chart, just like the zero is never an entry chart but it's a chart where you have to make up your mind because you're already in a trade. Stay rarely, if ever. Now, here's the scenario that would have gotten you potentially into a four. That is a five where you have the half day going up, the two day going up, the weekly going down. Now, the weekly could be, and again, if you look at it and see, hey, the weekly looks like it may be about to reverse. So I feel comfortable getting in with the two day jamming up, the half day going up. I feel good. I have a good reason. You need to quantify that entry point. And again, these can be good trades, not saying they're not, but what you may want to do is you might tighten up your loss band. You might not. You want to keep a close eye on what's happening to that trade and at the first hint of the two day going red or the half day going red, you might consider pulling it. Now, again, I can't tell you for every scenario, but you want to have a good reason to enter, a good reason to enter. And again, that one of these flips around before you enter or is about to flip around, good reason not to. It could also be that you entered all three 
were green. And then the weekly goes red because it had just barely made green. That's another possibility, but not nearly as likely as just green, green, red. Okay, let's go to 10. Now, what does 10 tell us? That tells us the only thing we have going in our direction is the weekly. So you can stay, but with good calls. Pay attention to how much down acceleration you have in the half day and the two day in particular. What about an 11? Now that's an entry point. That can be a good one. In fact, that's what I had in my silver trade. I had a crossover going up. That was my trigger for jumping into this trade. When I did, the two day was down and the weekly was up. What was about to happen was that two day was quite pregnant and she delivered a couple of days later. So that is a possibility for you to pay close attention to. You can enter with caution and reason. 14, this is not an entry. This is your already in a trade because remember we don't enter on a red half day candle for a long up trade. <clears throat> so what do you do here? If you've got the two day going up and the weekly going up, you've got your profit and loss band set you stay in and you ride that baby out. Now, if you come up with some good reason for pulling that trade, some crazy stuff happening, you can always pull it, but typically you're gonna stay to your loss limit. And then what is a great opportunity many times for entering a trade? A 15. You've got the, the green is, has gone from red to green on the half day. The two day has been green. The weekly has been green. So the trigger is that two day going from red to green. And when it does, boom, you jump in, enter the long trade. What do you have to be careful of? Just like here at the bottom where things are reversing, they could be reversing here too. They could be topping out. You could jump in right at the last top move and it goes up a few candles and then reverses over going down. That's possible, but again, not all that likely. Not all that likely. So nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, I'm gonna take this one and take the risk. Now, you look at short trades. Now friends, I'm not gonna go through all this because it's the exact opposite. Again, if you've got a 15, that means everything is red. Now we're not, you, you could call this minus 15 if you want. We're scoring it the same way. We're just reversing our thinking. The weekly is 10, the two day is four, and the half day is one. And it's the same thing. A 15 is red, red, red. Of course, a zero is green, green, green. And again, same thing. Never stay in or long trades, possibly. And of course, enter a short trade. Now, that of course means that you're below the 200 EMA. Got another little thing for you to look at. These are questions you might ask yourself. I mentioned many of these before. When it's green, 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 is the move topping out? When it's red, green, green, that is a 14. Enter when the 195 minute crosses up. Of course, you're waiting for it to go green, green, green from red, green, green. Uh, 11, is the two day ready to recross? You might, like my silver trade, it might be ready to spin around and you're gonna hit the jackpot. When it's a 10, red, red, green. How weak is the weekly? Things might be getting ready to roll over hard on you if you're still in that trade that you entered when the 195 minute was green. So this is one where you're in a trade and something changes. In fact, both of these could have changed. How weak is the weekly? Very important question. When you have a five, green, green, red. The question is, how strong is the weekly? How strong is it going in the opposite direction? And of course, four, red, green, red. When the two day reverses, it's all over. And again, we're talking about long. If you're in a short position, all of this is the complete opposite. And you can easily reverse that in your mind. One, green, red, red, very bottom is very hard to call. Just remember, you're trying to call a bottom here. That's tough. You're taking a lot of risk jumping in with a one. And of course, red, 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 
Are you ready for the switch? That, my friends, is how easy this formula is to apply. I put it on my screen. I go over here to the little text button. I highlight that. Pops up a little window. I put in the number. It is the date. And of course, I put this in at the end of that successful trade. I would like to be able to call all my trades wins at the very beginning. They're not all, but a large majority of them are. I want you to see how well you can do. Try employing this strategy. I think you will find the success multiplier formula very helpful to you in quantifying the time frame power with which you are dealing. My friends, we so appreciate hearing from you. Don't ever hesitate to write us charting, cw at chartingwealth.com. Of course, the website, chartingwealth.com. We are not a stock calling service. We offer no advice. We make no claims. We are dedicated to knowledge and education through our stock chart training, reviews, and other information. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.